I was just watching the news on um, not I was just watching RT and they were talking about the um, the Olympics in South Korea and the, the Koreans sported a, a joint effort you know, good for them right and uh, sixpence my sorry Mike Pence uh, didn't stand up you know well he's an ignorant piece of shit anyway and Mike Pence and uh, he didn't stand up so uh, he just wants to go and bomb somebody I and mean, then really that's why and then surprise surprise some American bloke at the opening cer ceremony some American uh, spectator or whatever you want to call him um, he was prancing around with a Russian flag when the Russians came on so up yours Pensy you pile of shit <laughs> you know um, and then so that was that story there wasn't much going on maybe it's just in the parade you know and then um, then there was another story about about Italy and all these people were cut all the anti far or whatever they call themselves complete dickheads as far as I'm concerned they they were all up in arms with apparently some immigrant African immigrant I don't know if he was killed but he was beaten up and so they all decided to come out. Of course, most of them were black anyway. You know, they weren't Italians because Italians were like everybody else in Europe, totally pissed off with all these people flooding into their country, um, claiming whatever they're claiming, uh, and getting loads of money thrown at them. You know, and uh, poor old Joe Soap has to fork out. He's, he's tax money, isn't it? Tax tax pounds and tax euros, you know, paying me lazy fucking bastards that are coming over here. I see, a, 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 I caught a thing about um, uh, Switzerland, now Switzerland aren't in the EU, but they can happily trade, but we can't, you know, um, but they can happily trade. Anyway, they, they run the problem with people, with immigrants as well, so they would, as far as I can make out, what they've said is, you know, we're not going to let everybody in. You've got to be able to prove that you can work and you're going to, you know, pay. I don't think they're worried about the religion so much. To, you know, it's money, isn't it? I mean, you're going to run out of money one day if you keep letting them in. And then we're all being this shit, including them, are we? So, um, anyway, what Switzerland done, I think they said, uh, you know, if you, I don't know how long they can stay there. What well, they've basically said is, um, yeah, when you get a job, you've got to pay your benefits back. That seems fair enough to me. To you, you know, that seems a really fair plan. You know, so if you get a job, um, you're going to pay tax like everybody else. You're going to pay a bit extra to pay the money back that we've given you. That sounds like a great, great plan. I mean, that. I mean, in effect, that would stop them coming over because they know. Switzerland's not going to be a soft touch like all the other sleep bastards in the in the EU. <coughs> and then we got uh, and then we got all this crap about Ireland and Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland and the hard border, soft Brexit. Oh, bre oh what a lot. At the end of the day, Terry May don't want to leave the EU. She voted to stay in. So why, how the hell can she? How can she represent the people that want to leave, the majority, if she voted to stay in? It doesn't make a slightest bit of sense to me. So she's fucking about, as usual. And uh, there was an article in the Daily Mail, I don't read it, but I'll just read the headlines of a bit, because they splash pictures everywhere, you know. I suppose people that read the Daily Mail can't read anyway, so they've got to put a lot of pictures in. So I put a comment and just said, um, saying quite reasonable to me, why don't both the islands have a referendum on whether to reunite their country? And then if they said yes, okay, problem solved, 
because they can then be, un, you know, they can all be under the jack boot of the unelected arseholes in Brussels, can't they? If they vote no, then prob a problem solved again. Border checks, because that's what they want if they vote in, you know. And then, of course, some people actually, you know, replied and said, oh, you know, Isla, Southern Ireland hasn't got the money to pay for Northern Ireland's debts and all that. Oh, what we have, England have, haven't they? England are fucking shoving money fucking to Northern Ireland, to Scotland and to Wales. Wales and Scotland have got their own parliaments, yet they can sit in our parliament. We can't go and sit in theirs, can we? Hey, well, I suppose if we're on the odd chance, I don't know about Wales so much, but Scotland, the chances of an Englishman getting voted, getting a, a job as an MP, is a bit remote, aren't they? So, there's no English people, there's no English members of Parliament sitting in the Scottish Assembly, but the, the Scottish MPs can sit in the, uh, at Westminster. It's like, when Sinn Féin uh, vote got their first two people in, what, Jerry Adams and the other bloke, I mean, I don't care, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that, but they got, they became MPs, um, but they didn't take their seat in Westminster. They still got paid. Does that make sense? You say, oh, we're not taking the seat because we, we don't acknowledge the Queen or whatever, so well, fuck you, you ain't getting paid, simple is it? It's got an MP doing so at all. I mean, I don't know how much they get in Ireland as an MP, but they get about 80 or 90 grand in this country. What do they do? They do fuck all. Half of them don't turn up. Well, 90% of them don't turn up. You ever watched Today in Parliament or whatever, and uh, there's just a few of them lounging around talking total cobblers. They don't live in the real world, these people. They don't. They don't live in the real world. Uh, Seventy percent of the cabinet are, mil are millionaires in their own right. Where do they get the money from? You don't. How, how long will it take to save up a million pounds if you never spent a penny of your hundred grand? Well, it'll take you ten years to save up a million pounds. You know. <laughs> They really are taking the piss, aren't they, these people? Uh, we don't need them. Uh, what happened in Bel Belgium a few years ago? They never had a parliament, but the country managed. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. That's how affected they are at the job. Nobody actually knew they didn't have a parliament. The civil service fucking run the country, don't they? Civil service pay out, you know. Or the department's paying out the benefits and all this stuff, you know. So, um, why do we need people in Parliament? It doesn't make sense, does it? Uh, I don't know. I might, I'm going to, um, I might do a, a long video on looking at the papers next week. Download the uh, what's it called? Something Nomatic, Screen Nomatic, or something like that. I'll, I'll pay for that and then I can, uh, you know, you can, then, then you can um, open all the papers and have a look at the articles. You know, it's quite good. I had the free version, and the free version's alright, but it doesn't actually save your videos, you know. If you do a video and then you can stick it straight on the YouTube. Um, but if you want to do another video, you lose the first one, so it's worth paying for, I suppose. So I might do that next week. Anyway, that's a little rant on it. Catch you later, fellas. <laughs>